Good morning everybody, Tuesday 13th of August, another day, hey, here in the singles, we'll just uh, disconnect the power off this fence here, go to the other end and start stepping it over, I don't know, I haven't been through here so I don't know whether we've got any new lambs in here or not, there might be one on the fence line over there but we'll, we'll find out together soon. So mum has given birth to a little lamb. She's, uh, she's struggled, shouldn't be that yellow, so struggled to get that one out, but it's alive, so that's good. Uh, it's only very new, so we'll leave that there and uh, might shed it off later today. So we've got 11 lambs in this first paddock, they're all looking pretty good. So another uh, another set overnight, which is, uh, yeah, sun's shining, she's uh, more positive today. <laughs> So seven lambs in the third paddock. Uh, none this morning, I don't think. I don't think there's any really new ones. But they're all looking pretty good. They've just started tucking under their hay feeder. There was no lambs in the second paddock, so they're still holding on. <laughs> they they're, uh, must have accidentally drafted out uh, all the later first cycle ones in that paddock or something, I don't know. Funny how it works like that. Right, we'll go and check the fourth paddock, and then uh, off to the triplets. So 10 lambs in the second paddock so far. Not new today, but just in total. So they're all, they're all looking pretty good. Happily feeding, sun's out. We're getting tight for feed, just with these frosts. It's, uh, normally we get a wee bit of growth in August, but um, it's, it's, it's tight enough, yeah. Yeah, we'll just monitor the situation and start feeding out if we need to. Triplets are all good. This girl's been having a bunch of grain. Everything else is sitting down, enjoying the sun. No new lambs here. So these girls are taking their time as well. So lambing beak's all done, we're all good there. Uh, before I go to the lease block, I've just got one more job to do here at home. And it is, try and find you a tree. Um, we've got tree planters and planting pine trees in this block. Like I net last, or yesterday and today. So, they might not have come down this, oh there we go. So planting wee pine trees, just like this. And what we've got here is, this is the boundary fence to a deer farm, and there's a hole. So the deer have been coming in and out under this hole. So we just need to fix this so the deer don't go along and pull out the newly planted pine trees. So we'll take that post out, drive a waratah in, and uh, pull the fence down. Let's plant the stage anyway. So we're all done. Fence fixed. Hopefully that'll keep the deer out. These boys are working away. Right, off to the lease block. So planting away. I'll have this block done pretty well by the end of the day. Um, and then we've got a wee bit of cut over forestry down by the cattle yards to do. And that'll be about eight hectares this year, forestry planted. So before I go to the lease block, I had some something I've got to fix on my tractor here. The gear stick lever was real sloppy, and it was hard to get into sixth gear. As you see, I've taken the lever out. That's broken, the sleeve on there. So we'll, um, we'll grind that out, get it to fit, weld it back up, and uh, we'll be good to go, hopefully. Should be pretty 
good there. Grind that down. Reinstall it. Tractor's all fixed. It's working sweet now. I got some parcels to drop off at the supermarket, the post shop on the way through to Oxford, uh, way through Oxford to the lease block. Go and feed some ewes and uh, baleage and shift their brake. Look at that beautiful day. Just stunning. So the girls are fed, brake set up for tomorrow, uh, baleage fed out. We've just got local contractor, Oxford Ag, gonna come down with a subsoiler and subsoil uh, the paddock that was the runoff when we for the early, so when we fed this paddock and the other end of this paddock. So we'll, um, we'll go load up the bale feeder ready for tomorrow and then we'll wait for them to turn up and see how, see how they get on. All loaded up there, ready for tomorrow. Tractor's just gone past with the ripper on it, so we'll go down, check him out, see what he's up to. I think it's a five ripper subsoiler they've got on there behind a 225 uh, case. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Traction should be all, all good on top, but just depending on how hard it is underneath. The reason I'm doing this is we had cattle in here before it was crop, and then, yeah, it went into crop. Uh, it was a really wet year, we had it in crop, and then it just has kind of sit here for the last couple of years. So we want it, this is going back into grass, so we just want to make sure that it's 100%. Um, we've done everything we can to make sure that the grass has a good strike and, and we do uh, do a good job there. So. Pulling it no trouble. So that's what it does, it just lifts everything up, fractures the ground underneath. Yeah, I think that'll work really, really well. And then we can just come in, cultivate it, um, and we'll pretty well have our seed bed. Sound, don't you? See what's under here. Oh, lots of worms. That's good. Lots of roots. Beautiful soil. Cool. Um, so I don't know if I mentioned just in that the last clip, but one of the reasons for doing this, especially going into a dry year, is to make sure that the grass we plant its roots can get down as far as possible and into that moisture. If you, um, if there's any sort of pan there, the roots of the grass will just go down and then spread out and it won't be able to access the moisture it needs to, to keep growing. So just trying to do everything possible um, with a potentially dry summer coming up to, um, to ensure that the grass does well and the, therefore we can feed our stock. Look at that. for these cows up here. Unloaded the trailer full of sawdust. There's a lot there, isn't there? 
Jojo's got it in her gum boots. Oh, so have I. <laughs> That's not fun, is it? No. No. In my socks. Fun playing with it, playing in it though. Yeah. Right, we just did this and then we're gonna go check that wee lamb that was born this morning and see if it's ready to shed off. Put these dogs away because we don't need them. Do we, Jasper? We don't need you. Or you, cuz. So what did we find, Georgia? Huh? What did we find? Dear lamb. Dear lamb. Lamb from this morning. It's a bit of a bugger. Um, you wanted to see a live lamb this afternoon, didn't you? Yep. There's plenty around. Mm -hmm. Just not in the singles that we haven't shed it off yet, so. Hmm. Oh, well. You always seem to have a healthy, good lamb in the morning and then before you know <laughs> it in the afternoon, it's gone. Will be another one tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Still, it's just not the same. No. Right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Oh, I think my finger's in the way. <laughs> now it's not. Right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't be sad like us. Bye.